Hi everybody, we're here with my latest build, the Razor Crest from The Mandalorian. I think it's one of the coolest Star Wars ships to come out in a long time and I really wanted to see it fly in, in real life. The airplane is built around the electronics out of the new UMX Ultrix from Horizon Hobby. Uh, it's a really cool little airplane that's got two brushless motors and uh, Elevon set up with a flight controller that can do some really cool mixing so you can do differential thrust and uh, it has some, some auto level and, and rate damping built in. This was a rather interesting plane to get working, mostly because those, those two nacelles kind of dominate the aerodynamics of the ship. As, as usual with most of my builds, I did a, a kind of you know, quick, just plain build to get all of the surface sizing and the center of gravity and the control set up right. This one uh, is a little more beat up than the others because this was a pretty challenging aircraft to get flying correctly. I originally started with my normal uh, twin brush motor setup on the Deltang receivers and uh, it really wasn't flyable. It, it has got so much nose out here in front of the center of gravity that even with adding the rolled uh, engine nacelle tubes there wasn't enough yaw damping. I, I even tried adding a big giant fin in the back and that still wasn't good enough. But switching over to the, the Ultrix electronics, uh, that has rate damping on yaw so that was able to, to stabilize it without needing any extra fins. So once I got this guy flying okay, I went and did a clean build. And this is all built out of uh, three millimeter Depron. Uh, the fuselage is, is framed up as a box and then uh, I built the wing separately. It's got a little three millimeter carbon spar in here. And then I uh, rolled the, the engine nacelles out of the three millimeter foam using a, a heat gun to, to help soften up the, the foam. Once it was all shaped up, I, I did most of the assembly, uh, painted it all with Tamiya rattle cans. This is mostly gunmetal, um, gunmetal gray as the the main color for the body, so it's got that, that metallic sheen, and then some, some orange for the markings and, and flat black for the canopy sections. Uh, rather than masking the canopy sections, I actually cut these out and painted them separately because I wanted the, the main section here to be the battery hatch. Now I'll get a battery installed in here. So I'm using the little uh, tiny whoop uh, 230 to 260 milliamp hour one cell lipos. Um, got the little connector in here. Plug it in. And then that just tucks up inside. On a single cell, I'll get around three minutes of flying. And if I double those up, uh, I can get four or five minutes. So you can see, as with most of my builds, it's got elevons and differential thrust. And then the in, in regular rate damping mode, uh, because of, of kind of all of this nose up here and the, the pretty strong dihedral effect from the low aspect ratio and these, these two elevated motor pods, it's having really, really aggressive Dutch roll with it. Um, and this actually led to, to crunching a bunch of my prototypes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, but in auto level mode, which you can see here, um, I, was, I was able to cruise around much better. So that, that kept the wings mostly level. Um, you still got to be a little bit careful with how hard you turn it, um, and it, and it really doesn't like wind. But uh, with this, I was able to get it cruising around pretty well. So you can see nose goes down, elevons goes up, nose goes up, elevons go down. Same deal with roll. And then you can hear, you can hear the yaw damping. I'll turn it on. And that yaw damping really, really helps out. I'll turn this guy off. So 
so this was a really fun build and uh, I think it looks looks the part when it's flying around. It weighs about 50 grams with the battery in it, um, which is only about five grams heavier than the stock Ultrix. So I think for something that's that's reasonably large compared to the, the airframe I pulled the electronics from, it actually ended up being pretty light. So I'll, I'll throw some more video flying around after this uh and i'll i'll look to post the plans for this in the in the description box below as always if you have any questions about the builds or you just kind of in general have questions about building flying things or you want to make suggestions about building flying things uh please leave uh, a comment below uh, i really i really enjoy making these sorts of airplanes and i'm always looking for what the next project will be anyways uh Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around soon.